guess, or lucky, or whatever you want to call it. But I'm really excited. And he's been working all day too. I'm telling everyone how amazing you are because I just got home from from work, from, from doing some massages. And I didn't get hay this morning because it was so hot. And I mentioned that I didn't have any hay and I had to go get some, but I needed to go change because the hay irritates my skin and I'm in shorts. And you didn't even, I didn't even ask you. You just ran inside, grabbed the keys to the RTV. The quiche mobile? Yeah, the quiche mobile. And um, you're loading my hay up for me into the RTV. And I'm saying I am incredibly blessed or lucky or whatever, whoever wants to call it. But I'm, I'm just really happy I have you and fortunate and thankful. He's also unloading it into my hay stall for me. I married the right man, that's for sure. the soil I guess and enrich it because basically around here it looks like sand and, and that's kind of it. I'll flip the camera around and show you. Oops, instead of flipping the camera I pressed the stop button. Now I will flip the camera around. So that's kind of what the soil looks like in most of the areas and I just wet right there a little bit but um, anyways the people who had the house before us um, the guy who cut the grass used to cut it to like one inch to make it to where he only had to come out here much less often to cut the grass, which is really not very good for the grass. It's great for the weeds, but so we've been battling the weeds and we're doing okay. We started planting some more grass in the front and it did okay for a while and then it's, it's not really doing super great. Um, it's doing okay, but our manure spreader is going to get delivered today, yay! Um, and the plan with that is we compost the horse manure, and composting it gets rid of any parasites that might be in their poop, in their horses it happens, it's kind of a part of being a horse. Um, so it gets rid of parasites and poop. It gets rid of seeds that maybe they ate some weeds and got some seeds in the poop. That's a great way for it to spread. But if you compost it, what happens is it gets so hot that it kills the seeds and it also will kill the eggs of the parasites. So we have a big compost pile that is ready to go. And we're gonna take that and spread it with our new manure spreader um over the grassy areas to kind of give the soil a boost kind of like homemade fertilizer um so we're gonna do that brian said he also might get some lime for it but basically we're just trying to build up the soil um joe salatin has some really really cool videos on how they did that at his farm uh polyface farms and he's really inspirational and great to watch do all of that stuff so yeah, that's kind of where we got the idea, and we're gonna go with it. We just need to now spread, or not spread, separate the different areas of the farm into a couple of different pastures for grazing. 
so that we can rotate them and help manage the pasture. Um, Brian thought that maybe the horses would go to the side that has the grass that is able to be eaten instead of the stuff that's like this tall that they've already almost killed. That's not the case, but we tested it out and it worked for about a day, maybe two. And then they started going over to the old side, which is like what's right behind me. Um, that's what we've mostly had them on for since we've had the house. I mean, we've rotated it a little bit to try to give this a break, but the side pasture was nowhere near ready when we did that. So it killed a lot of that. And we gave the side pasture some more time off to kind of recoup, or we tried to. And so, yeah, we're just trying to get that all managed and work out a plan so that the, the soil can kind of recoup but we're also not gonna have to deal with parasites or weeds and things like that because we're already battling weeds. Cactuses are already a huge problem. We'll see where it goes. Awesome, awesome company that delivered our ABI spreader. The driver was top notch and super, super nice. spreader. Actually it's not a newer spreader, it's a ABI spreader. A manure spreader. Much better. Brian did a lot of research into which one would be the best fit for us and this is the one we chose. And I've been eyeballing their arena drags but even their basic model is a bit out of price range right now. One day, one day. Maybe Arwen will get one for Christmas. The Quichemobile has a mini. Engages the beater bars in the back, and that left one is the conveyor speed. So, all right, I think we're ready. my hand that's the little guy so he's like a quarter of the size of my hand Brian loves these guys ah, sorry that was a beetle they like to come out to the lights at night whoa look at you Mr. Spider 
to have around. Dr. Riddick, in case you're not lame tomorrow. That was a good step. Well, not a good step, but a good one to show. Come here. Come here, Win. Come here. Come on. What? You're being bad. 